Fibrous dysplasia. Fibrous dysplasia is a developmental abnormality of the bone that can present with pain and or deformity. Failure of the bone to mature and realign along the stress lines. Failure of maturation means primitive immature trabecular bone and primitive dysplastic fibrous tissue. And if you add poor mineralization to this, you will get deformities and fractures. The genetic defect involves a G protein that can affect the cyclic AMP. It usually involves the proximal femur, followed by the rib, the maxilla, and the tibia. It is probably a metaphysical geographic lesion with a classic ground glass appearance, hazy. It may have no aggressive features and it may have industrial scalloping different than neurofibromatosis that have periosteal scalloping. It's usually central but it can be peripheral. So the histology is fibrous and the osseous component. Sclerosis may be present and depend on the content and the extent of the osseous versus fibrous ratio. It will have irregular spicules of woven bone, which is immature bone, without osteoplastic rimming in a bland fibrous background, giving the characteristic appearance of Chinese letters. This is a bone section that shows osteoplastic rimming which is not present in fibrous dysplasia. Fibrous dysplasia is without osteoplastic rimming. It may contain cartilage tissue and it spares the epiphysis. It is hot in bone scan. The lesion may produce expansion and thinning of the overlying cortex and create a pathological fracture. In the femoral neck, there will be increased incidence of pathological fractures. The lesion can be monostotic or polyostotic. The monostotic is the physial metaphysial regions of long bone common in the proximal femur it can cause various shepherd crock deformity. The polyostotic, only one side of the body, the lower extremity and the homolateral pelvis. 20% of the patients with fibrous dysplasia have multifocal disease with associated endocrine abnormality. They call it McEwen Albright syndrome. You can get precocious puberty, cafe au lait spots. The endocrine abnormality can be Cushing or hyperthyroidism, and cafe au lait spots like a cost of Maine. It has a regular border, which is different than the cost of California appearance which will have a smooth border. It occurs in neurofibromatosis. McEwen Albright syndrome is a genetic mutation of the G genes. Polyostetic, unilateral, precocious puberty, short stature. Treatment of fibrous dysplasia. Usually observation in the absence of impending fracture or deformity. Fibrous dysplasia is a benign lesion, but if it occurs in the femoral neck, it can cause fractures. You want to do garrotage of the lesion plus cortical strut graft and internal fixation. The cortical strut graft is better than the cancellous bone. When you use cancellous bone graft, it is usually replaced by the host bone which is a dysplastic bone. Therefore, cortical allografts are better. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.